With the national elections just weeks away, ECN workers gathered outside their headquarters and orchestrated a peaceful demonstration. The group, backed by the Namibia Public Workers Union, stated that they have been mistreated by top management and their rights overlooked for more than a decade ago. Our contracts have been ranging between six months and a year. Some have six, some have one year. And we were deprived of benefits such as medical aid, pension, housing allowance, study leave and overtime, Why? which most are provided in terms of the public service rules. We are also much aggrieved by the distinction between made by management between contract, temporary and permanent staff, despite the clear provision of the Public Service Act that defines what the public servant is. Contract and temporary employees are the majority employed by ECN and as such contributes widely to the success of any election conducted in this country. The group of furious ECN employees feels as though they are but temporary workers in permanent positions, stating that they would also like to share the same benefits as the ECN chairperson, Notemba Chipoya, whom they claim is driving around in a Mercedes-Benz. Stop nepotism corruption practices and favoritism. Stop making excuses of no money. The structure is yet not finalized. We have heard enough of these remarks. Madam Chair, since 2000, we found you here with other commissioners that are not here. As a part-time commissioner, today you are full-time employee and commissioner. You are having a black ministerial Mercedes-Benz, a full-time driver, driving you to Okahanja each and every day to your house. You are enjoying the fruits of this country. Why not us? The ECN workers have threatened to take practical and consequential actions, including approaching the head of state if their demands are not met within 14 days.